Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again spreading muck. I'm in the T7 today instead of loading. Um, normally boss band loads, so that means I load, but I thought Kieran, Kieran could have a go today. So I'm in the T7 with the Teagle dung spreader and I'm spreading muck on this grass around. Um, we were over here the other, yeah, the last video, just as it was getting dark, we were over here, so we're just finishing this last little pile. There's not much left here. Get this cleaned up before winter. Well, I guess you could already call it winter, but um, before it rained too much, because it's still relatively dry. So we'll get this spread. And um, yeah, hope I said in the last video, but this field we get trouble with people coming from the village and walking their dogs around. And uh, it's not a footpath, so we spread a load of shit to try and stop them coming over it. But yeah, I'll get filled up and then I'll pick back up when I'm going. I am full up now, so we are gonna go over to the end of the field here. As you see, I've done all this. I've not been putting it on too heavy because uh, it's getting on a bit now. It's nearly, oh, it's the 30th of November today. So it's not long, long off December. So it's, you know, a good ways into the winter. Um, so we want to give it as much time to rot in as possible. So by being a bit later, we're um, not gonna have as much time. So I've turned the PTO on, give it some revs up to 540. And then Bruce Ball is the door. I don't know if you can see in the mirror. They're a bit dirty. Lift the door up. And then green is the bed. And away I go. Like I said, I've been going fairly quick when we're doing 13, 14k uh, to just try and cover the ground without um, putting it on too thick. But yeah, it's going alright, it's nice and dry, not making any mess. Um, so yeah, it's a good job to be honest. Right, I reckon this is going to be the last load. It's less than I thought it to be honest but Kira's just going to load it up as you can see it's not made too much mess um, I'll have to put this one in the next field because I've covered this one but that's alright we've got plenty of uh, grass round about to fit it up on just getting a little bit tacky you can see sticking to the tyres a little bit so it'll be a good job to get it done. That's the last of the mat loaded, all cleared. Karen's just gonna try and level that off a bit and make it look half tidy. I don't know if we'll put any seed on this bit in the spring or I expect we'll just tip more dung here over the winter so uh, we'll just leave it as dirt to be honest and then I'm gonna get this one spread and then we'll head back to the yard and see what's next on the list I think that I'll doubt hedge trimming again uh, might be going to look at a farm sale uh, a dairy farm that's selling up so I might just go and have a look at what's there Just getting clearing out the last of the spreader. Just trying to make sure it's as clean as possible. Most of it's out now. So that is all of this done over here, um, which is a good job done. So the only thing needs doing over at this block of ground is hedge trimming. We'll, we'll try and get that done this week. I might go on the hedge trimmer sometime if Dad's neck start taking. Um, so I'll be able to do do some filming and show you how our hedge trimmer works basically, I mean it's very simple um, but it gets the job done for us so we're gonna head back to the yard now and probably have some lunch because it is two o'clock. Welcome back to day two of the video. 
I am out head trimmer today because Dad's not here, so I've been given control of the head trimmer. So I'm just out. Probably one of the most pain in the ass we've got because all that head trimmer on there. Sorry about my dirty windows is along a brook that wiggles in and around so the head follows it so it's not the best. I mean this whole field's a bit of a weird shape because there's a bit of a dip that goes around there. You can't see very well because the windows are filthy. This is about the straightest edge so I've just nearly finished one loop around. I'm just here with our Teagle trimmer so it's just basic cable controls but like I said before it does get the job done for us. So that's the trimmer on and then we got up and down in and out and tilt the head on there so I'm just going along this hedge doing the side at the minute there's some Akira sheep fencing left in the way that he hasn't picked up yet so I'm just trying my best to avoid that as you can see there's some there um, so I'm just trimming over the top of it but yeah I'm getting on alright it's not too overgrown this stuff. Uh, we, I think it got trimmed last year. Some of it we missed last year. So it's a bit harder to um, get through because it's such thick branches, branches. But I'm pretty sure most of this we did last year. So it's all right. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get some of the sides done. And then I'll come back when I'm on the top because that's the most satisfying bit to do. Right, I'm getting on not too bad here now. I'm doing probably the last path I can reach from this side because uh, our trimmer isn't isn't the biggest so I got three across the top so the last bit I'll have to go the other side to do but that's our neighbours field but we normally trim their hedges for them so when they ask I'll go around and get the last little bit that I couldn't reach. But yeah it doesn't look too bad, it's relatively tidy I think but um, yeah I'm quite pleased with it actually. Brown hasn't marked up very much. Sunset's looking quite nice, so it's a good day to be honest. But anyway, I'm gonna do this last pass and then I'll probably call it a day for today. I think this is the best bit of hedge in this field. It's just the type of hedge makes it look nice and tidy, but yeah, this is a bit along the road. Couldn't get there too close because of the telegraph pole. Same further down, but this all looks nice and tidy. It's a good job because it's the bit everyone sees because it's next to the road, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that bit actually. Welcome back to day two of the video, everyone. Today we are just gonna, we're just washing some kit off, putting it in the shed because it's a bit of a crappy day, so we're gonna wash the rake, take the tines off, and put that in the shed. But the mower in the shed, we put the power harrow in, the topper, I'm not sure if we'll get to washing the old short top off. Probably sell that a farm sale or something. But if anything, I think I want it. Let me know. But yeah, so we'll get all this done. Kieran's doing the pressure washing, and then we'll oil the bed of this one up as well. Rake's the next thing to get a bath, and that'll go in the shed as well. And the topper. It's currently 4 a.m. I just heard a lot of counts making a lot of noise on another window. The security lights on, so I'm pretty sure some have got out. So we'll go and have a look. They've knocked the gate off and got out. So we'll have to pick it up and get them back in. Can't see very well. Here they are. Oh, here's some of them. The rest of them are all over in the maze over there. Here's the rest of them all over at the ma maze. So it should be easy enough to get back. As you can see, didn't take a long to find the maze and you can hear a lot of noise, that's what woke me up and I could see that, that's a security light up there, so that was on, I could see it from my bedroom, so I knew that something wasn't quite right down there. So hopefully I should be able to just run them back around there and into the show. Have a lovely, windy, wet, horrible day. But yeah, last night they lifted this gate off uh, we tied it up just to make sure they didn't do it again. I wasn't sure everyone was bullying when we got them back in. But um, yeah, it was about, I think it was about 4am. I woke up and I heard a lot of noise. And I uh, looked out the window and I could see past through here. And there's a 
security light up there that was on and I thought well something's moving about to cause that to come on and I thought I could see some cows moving about and yeah all these were out so um, luckily there's a few that went round there and the rest were over eating all the meat but I don't think they were out very long so yeah we got them back in anyway. After we had our escapees the other night I'm just drilling some holes in the in the hangers and we'll put a uh, slip pin through there so they can't lift it up they get their head in the bars and lift their neck up and then they end up lifting it up and that's how they escape we've got some very nosy cows seeing what i'm doing here yeah we're doing that to most of the gates because i don't want to get up at four o'clock to uh, get cows back in again there you go put the split pin in and then i'll bend these around see if i can do it one-handed no i can't but anyway, you get the idea, and then it stops coming off. In that right, Kieran? We're sponsor yeah. sponsored by Ridgeline, by the yeah. way. That's going to do it for this video. It's pretty horrible weather, so we haven't got much on. Um, but I'll see you in the next one, which I'll start again in about 10 minutes, because they're going to overlap. But yeah, see you in the next one. Kieran.